Hello everyone. We are going to stuff our cash envelopes and our sink and funds. This is for March Paycheck 2. So let's see. We budgeted 180. Our actual was 255. That gave us a difference. Alrighty, um, of $155, no, $255 minus $180, $75, okay. Alrighty, um, cash envelopes stay the same, so... Sink and funds stayed the same. Savings, we put right into the savings account. So that stayed the same. And our extra debt payment was $50. But I also have extra gas money. The gas has been going up down here in Florida. And I usually give my husband $200 a month for gas. The gas here is almost $3 a gallon, and he's been going through a lot more gas lately. We've been seeing a new doctor, and we've been running back and forth to the doctors. Um, we have to go again next week, and then we have to go again at the end of the month, so we have to go two more times. So that is running some of the gas out, you know, going back and forth to the doctors like three weeks in a row. So... Not that, you know, everybody's fine. Nobody is, is, you know, sick or anything like that. It's a new doctor, new procedures that they need to do. So, you know, blood work, um, you know, a, a checkups, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's nothing serious. So we're going to put down here where I have the extra debt, we're going to put gas right here. And... We didn't budget anything for gas, but we do have $50 to put in for, for gas. So I figured, you know, we made a little extra. I said, let me just put in, you know, an extra $50 for gas. Well, hopefully it will compensate for the back and forth, running back and forth to the doctors the next couple of weeks. So we should have $255. So we got... 50 plus 100 plus 5, 25, and 50. Mm. What did I miss? I'm missing something. Um, cash envelopes are 50. $50 for gas would be 100 and then the 5 for savings is 155 and then 150 for sinking funds. Uh, okay, that's where that's where I'm at already. So the extra debt was 50 and no, that was right. 160. How come I must have did something wrong? All right. We have 50 plus 100, 5, 50, fifty, two fifty-five. okay, I must have added something wrong. Now, we only have 250 that we're going to stuff because the $5 I keep in the checking account and then I transfer that right into our savings every week. So... We are going to put 255 down here because that's what we have. So let's count our money. And we are going to have $250. Put that to the side. Put that there. And we have 120, 40, 60. You know what? Let me move you guys back out. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. 120, 40, 60. 
80, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50. All right, we're going to do our cash envelopes first. And we're just going to get our money situated here. Okay. Groceries. We always keep the grocery money in the household account. We are doing really good. I am so far when I do my mid-month check-in. Uh, right now, we are like still $20 over of the $200 I put in and then my son puts $200 in. Anybody who's new, welcome. Anybody who's not new, welcome back. Um, just a, re a quick recap. My son and daughter-in-law, me and my husband, we went in and we bought a house together in 2017. Anything that pertains to the house, food, mortgage, utilities, security system, um, so, you know, we got a family plan for cell phone, but I pay $75 because there's three of us, and then they pay $50, which is two of them. So it kind of works out in the end for the cell phones and stuff. So anything that pertains to the house, we split 50-50. So I put every month, I put $200 in for food every month, and my son puts $200 in for food every month. If we happen to make a little extra, then we might throw in maybe an extra $50 each, but normally we keep it around $400 a month for food. We keep that in the household account. So when we purchase an order from like Walmart, if we do Walmart pickup, um, or if we do like an Instacart, which I haven't really done Instacart in a while because um, they have been not so great lately. So I haven't really been doing um, Instacart too much. But Walmart pickup, we do the Walmart pickup or we'll just run. We have a local Publix that's right up the street from us. And if we need like milk, bread, you know, that kind of stuff. We've been just running up to our local Publix up the street and then just picking that stuff up for the milk and the bread. But so far, mid-month, we are $20 under the $200 for the food that I put in for the first two weeks and then my son does the last two weeks. So we're doing really good. So this money is in the household account. That's where we keep it at. So that goes off to the side. Gas. Okay, my husband has $60 in here for gas, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. We're going to give him $50 for gas. I'm hoping that this will be enough, uh, enough money for him for gas for the rest of the month. Today's the 13th. We're at 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, 110. I'm hoping that the additional $50 will be enough. So technically it would have been like $250 for the month of March for gas. And normally I do $200, but like I said, the gas prices are, are going up. or like almost $3 again. Let me know in the comment section below. Is anybody else's gas almost $3 or over $3 a gallon? I'm hearing we're supposed to go over $3 a gallon. I don't know when that's going to happen, but we're supposed to go over $3 a gallon. We are about two, $2.80 something, almost $2.90 a gallon, which is ridiculous for gas in the state of Florida at least. Okay, personal care. Personal care, we have $5. We are only going to add $5. I put $5 a week in. And that's going to give us 10. Deposit 3, 13, 5, 10. Okay. Personal care. Household. Household has five dollars and we're going to give it five dollars to make it ten and just going to do the deposit in today's date already so we're doing good with with that I haven't spent any money for 
of personal care and household in a couple of, in about two weeks. So we're good with that. Husband's money. I don't count his. I just put the $20 in. We get $20 every week. I put his $20 in there and he does what he wants with his $20. Mine, I have 10, 15, 20, 25. And I'm going to take 20, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. I do not track these. I consider this our guilt-free money. We can do what we want with it and we don't have to worry about tracking it. So, that is all our cash envelopes. I'm going to set those to the side. And we're going to go into our sinking funds. Sinking funds are going to be a little di different the next couple of weeks. Because like I mentioned before, um, we do, we're seeing a new doctor. We have to go back and see this doctor where we have to have blood work and go back and see him. So the next couple of weeks, my medical, you're not going to see the amount I normally put in my sinking funds because we have to put more in for the medical to make sure we have all that paid off. So I'm just going to grab my book here for our sinking funds and we are going to start off with Christmas. Christmas we have $341.38 but we have $95.38 in gift cards. So we are going to go 95.38 and we're going to minus the 341.38. We should have $246 in our Christmas. So let's count it and make sure we have 100. 200, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Why is that saying 246? Did I miss something? Let me see. Maybe I added wrong. I've been doing that a lot with me, adding wrong. 341.38. Minus 95.38. Nope, 246. Alright, I must have added wrong. Alright. 100. 200. 20. 25. 30. 35. 36. 37. 38. 39. 40. 41. I don't know. I got 200, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and it's supposed to be 341, and there's 95. Did I miss a deposit in here? I don't think I did. But we got 241 plus 95.38 comes to 336.38. All right, I must have added wrong. All righty. So, 336. Okay. And we'll just leave it like that. So, all right. That goes there. We are only put it in ten dollars. So I am going to take a twenty and put two fives there and we're gonna do plus ten, which is gonna be three forty six thirty eight. And that is gonna be a cash deposit three thirteen. All right, 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 251, plus 
346.38. We are right on the money with that. Okay. I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Car insurance. We should have. I always go by this one. We should have $395. And we are putting in $20 today. So, let's see. 100 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. And we are doing $20 plus 20, 395, and that should be 415. 20415 which is good because our car insurance is not due until July so we should hopefully or at least have it close to having it fully funded for when our car insurance comes around 100 50 70 90 210 230 250 270, 290, 310, 320, 330, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15. Okay, we are good. Alrighty. We have car maintenance. Car maintenance, we have... 223 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 70 80 90 95 2 5 10 15 16 17 18 Did I put I must have I don't know why these are not coming out today 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, all right, 2, yeah, it's stuck together already, so we're right, 223, and we are adding to our car maintenance, we are adding $10 to our car maintenance, so I'm going to take a 20, and we're going to take a 10 out. So we're going to make some room here. I'll put the 10 in there. All right. Plus 10. It's going to be 233. This is going to be cash. And deposit will be 13. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. Alrighty, that's for car maintenance. Okay, medical. Medical, we are putting in. $50 for medical. I took the 100 out. It's completely empty. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's completely empty. So, and I didn't, so we minus 100 here. And that was for 3, 312 withdraw doctors. All right. So today we are making a deposit. Today's 313. We are doing cash plus $50. $50. And I messed this up. It's supposed to be $100 over there. Okay. So there will be $50 in there. So we're just going to take the $50 bill and we're going to put the $50 bill into medical. 
because I don't know we have to go for follow-up visits so I don't know if they charge us for follow-up visits or not um, the blood work I know they're going to submit it to the insurance and then whatever the insurance doesn't pay they'll send us a bill for what we need to pay but I'm not too sure with the follow-up visit if we get charged for that or not so I'm just going to have the money just in case we do get charged for it. All right. Lawn. Lawn, we have $100 in here. We are only putting $5 in. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And we are doing five dollars. Okay, I'm gonna do five. That will give us one oh five, and that's cash deposit three oh three thirteen. Today's state is twenty, thirty, forty, forty five, fifty, fifty five, sixty, sixty five, seventy, seventy five, eighty, eighty five, ninety, ninety five, one hundred, one, two, three, four. Five. Alrighty, we're doing good with the lawn. We're almost almost have that fully funded for the lawn. Vacation, vacation. We have turn the paper. We have twenty nine dollars in vacation. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. We're going to add $5 for vacation. We don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So we'll have 34. We would like to go and see our son up in Jersey, hopefully. Maybe before the holidays this year. We have to see how everything goes and if our doctor will allow us to travel that far away to New Jersey so we have to make sure and find out all that information About 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 okay we have $34 in vacation. So we have that. And then I have my truck payment envelope here. Because whatever we have left is going to make an extra debt payment. So we're done with that. And we have 20, 40, 50. We have $50. So we're gonna that fifty, and that's gonna give us fifty plus. Okay. I had one hundred and fifty dollars the last time. I put that in. I made a payment of one hundred and fifty dollars last week. So this fifty dollars is gonna go towards next week, and we are going to have an extra debt payment of $50. So 20, 40, 50 is what is going towards the extra for the truck payment for an extra debt payment. And that is it with our cash stuffing of our envelopes and our sinking funds. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of the YouTube family. If you go out, please stay safe. Stay healthy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.